Hey everybody, I got another how to how to wipe your Blackberry using the Java Loader Commander, or as a lot of people refer to it, JL Commander. Here at BlackberryOS.com in the how to guide section off the front page, you can uh, find it in one of the top threads here how to wipe a Blackberry using Java Loader Commander. You go into that link. I've written a how to on how to do it. A lot of people just like a video, they can watch it right through. If that's your preference, I will be embedding this video into this uh, into the same thread so it'll make it nice and easy. Most important thing is back up your device using the desktop manager. Back up your device's third-party applications to make sure that you don't have to reload everything all over again. But definitely make sure you back it up. To get Jail Commander, you're just going to click on this uh, third step, second link, which I'm clicking on now. And bring you to a page. This is what the JL Commander looks like when it's done. This first link, JL Commander version 1.9.0, is what I'm going to click on. It's going to ask you it, it ask you to download it, save it to your computer. It's a zip file. I already have it downloaded here in my software folder. So we're going to unzip this folder. Make this real simple. I'm going through every step so there's no. Uh, confusion and there we go so it's in a folder now JL commander version 1.9 you're gonna go into that and the next folder you're gonna have a bunch of icons the one that you're looking for is this install icon you're gonna double click that icon and you'll notice up here your DOS window will show up and then here's your icon it shows up at the top it shows up on your desktop it's not going to go through any type of um, wizard or any yes yes I agree any of that junk it's just going to automatically install it to your computer but you're not going to find it anywhere except for your desktop I'm running XP I'm assuming that it's the same for Vista you're just going to have to uh, play that by ear since I haven't uh, used it on a Vista yet once that comes up to use it, you're going to simply, you're going to make sure your device is hooked up, make sure that it's backed up, of course, again. When you double click that icon off your desktop, what I do is I made a shortcut down in my uh, taskbar so I don't have to deal with going to the desktop every time. Your black box is going to come up and it's going to say press any key to continue. I'm just hitting the space bar. Does it lock with a password? Y for yes, N for no. And then what do you want to do? You got a bunch of different things you guys can look through here, but the one we're looking at is number four, which is wipe. So I'm just pressing the number four. You're about to completely erase a Blackberry. Do you want to continue? Yes, if I want to. To continue, just start typing Blackberry, as you can see down the bottom here, B-L-A-C-K-B-E-R-R-Y. Once I hit enter, it's going to start erasing the Blackberry. In this case, my BlackBerry is not hooked up because I don't want to erase it, but that's all it's going to do. It's going to go through a few, a uh, few minutes, maybe a minute. Um, it'll tell you when it's complete here on the device or on the uh, red screen. It'll turn to black, and then you'll see your BlackBerry restart and come back to show a 507 error, which just simply means you do not have an operating system on your BlackBerry, and then you go from there. Whether you're going to uh, install Crackman's latest version three of uh, 114 are you going to install any type of operating system 507 air will give you bare bones on of nothing on your blackberry and you can load anything you want on it that's it questions leave it in the thread see you